a trebuchet just covers so many fields of science. Uh, it goes from engineering to physics to you know, civil engineering actually building it. That we had such a wide range of uh, what we learned from in so many different fields. I had some friends who were doing similar projects and we collaborated with each other and spent some time together and we learned about it as a group. I learned a lot about cricket set. I wasn't expecting to learn and they're a very interesting animal. I went from knowing nothing about wind turbines and circuitry and now I know a lot about it. I can explain it to almost anybody. Science Fair has, like, it's given me definitely a more of a worldwide ex a view, a better view of the world. It's given me a w wider experience. It's broadened my horizons, basically. In doing supplemental research and reading different journals and articles, I'm able to take the basic knowledge I have, do further research, take it further, do my independent research, and, you know, supplement everything I've known with more and more and more. Well, for me, it was it was a new experience working in the lab. I mean, I've done some lab work before, but just uh, working in the lab with the different apparatus and the GC and infrared spectroscopy and those kinds of things really just uh, taught me how to use them, and it was a new experience. Um, a lot of times, your teacher talks about chemicals and stuff that they can't use for safety reasons. So just getting internship at the Navy, I was able to use devices like X-ray machines, uh, scanning electron microscope. I mean, even for the microscope, your school can only go to a certain level, whereas the ones in Navy facilities, you can go to a level that's pretty unimaginable to the human eye. I feel that DNA, the way it's taught, it's really taught in a 2D format. Like, DNA, it's a double helix. But um, doing this experiment, I actually got to physically see DNA in like 3D and actually get to interact with it more than just a piece of paper, which I thought was really cool. At first, I didn't know how I was going to analyze it, but um, after like many hours spent with my statistics teacher, I finally determined that I needed to use a t-test, and I had already developed the null hypothesis before. But this data was kind of complex because it had six fields, since there were six concentrations, and then five um, strains of bacteria. So that makes a 30-celled um, table to do a t-test with. So it made it kind of uh, a little bit more complex than the usual 4x4. So um, that was interesting. It required me to actually learn more statistics than I had. I had another problem later where I discovered, okay, here's a bunch of proteins that the phages make, but what do they do? And I, uh, I reached out and I contacted some people who I knew, and they were able to share with me what, what the proteins were, and they also told me a little bit more about what they knew about phages, so what their experiences were with them, and that helped me a lot with my project. So anything that they, the judges give you, you should really take to heart and use um, to better yourself for judges to come and to just make you understand the whole field a lot more. When I actually get to the science fairs, sometimes, especially like in the regional science fairs, I get to meet with experts of that field that I'm studying. And they show me where I could have improved in things. And it shows you, you can't always get the bigger picture, but you can at least get certain aspects of it and there are ways to improve it. Um, personally I have learned that sleeping is really important and I've learned this by knowing what actually happens when you sleep that it's your body's time to rest and recuperate for the next day and I've applied this to my life by going to bed earlier and trying to limit my sleeping in on the weekends and this has really helped me have a better outlook on my day. The students express very well the satisfactions of becoming expert in the area they worked on in their project. Beyond that, the ins and outs of mastering that one field taught them broader things that gave them confidence how to proceed in completely different areas. So they know the same general approach that worked for them in becoming expert in one thing is going to apply to many other things.